Hi guys, welcome. Scanlink here and we're off for another hashtag free game time. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know why. People are just reaching out to me. Um, we're playing Nogalis, I think it's how you pronounce it. Um, I got another uh, offer for a uh, free code before release and it's actually coming out this August. Of course, this video will once again come out when the video, when the game actually releases. Even though I haven't been told of an embargo for this one on like with Tiny uh, Hands Adventure. But I haven't actually heard of this game, just like with Tiny Hands Adventure, but this one I've even less experience with. It's just like some platform, and apparently there are physical versions for PC... Well, yeah, physical versions for run-of-the-mill today PCs, but also older versions for MSX, Commodore, Amstrad, and Spectrum. Like, they have a cassette or disc variation or floppy disk variant of this game. What? <laughs> anyway. Nogalus is looking for his daughter who had been caught by the evil Dorama. She is being kept in Dorama's castle. In this adventure, Nogalus, I think that's how you pronounce it, Nogalus? Yeah, Nogalius, Nogalius, will face challenges, enemies, and mid-puzzles, mid-puzzles? Eh? In a world of full, in a world full of surprises while Dorama waits for the best opportunity to make him disappear. Now, this music sounds really NES style, which I'm guessing is what it is for PC and whatnot. For, you know, um, MSX, Commodore, Amstrad and Spectrum, they're obviously tailored to those old computer hardwares. And since, you know, they're actually doing physical versions for those and people like to collect those computers, it really is old timely. And they went out of their way to actually make them physically for those old computers. So it is an old computer game. Of course I'm actually playing with a Switch, uh, my Switch Power A Plus controller, the Zelda one. So yeah, I'm a bit of a scrub. I'm not using a keyboard, but there you go. I've already tailored my buttons. So yeah, I think we're just gonna hop in. So very old classic nostalgic game right here. And I, kn I know it's a platformer. Legalius and his wonderful daughter Marie live on. Oh, okay. But Evil Dharma wants to kidnap Marie. Or is it Marie with a silent T? Legalius just thinks of being back home with her. Oh my god. That walk cycle. Yeah, this is very. It looks very, uh. MSX ish. Only that, obviously, better graphical style because of. You know, being this is the Steam PC version, so we have tro um, achievement support. There's quite a few achievements, and we got the Steam. The Steam overlay is actually active for this game, unlike what it was for Final Fantasy VI. So we'll be able to actually see getting achievements. Apparently, I already had one though, and I never beat boot up the game until today. So I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Um, Megalius, do the tutorial. Might as well. The Wise Man. I am the Wise Man. I'll be your guide through this adventure, but listen carefully to me. It's very important that you know how the dashboard works and what you can do with it. Looks very, um... Oh, the first line shows the game field that we were at, the score, and our lives. I didn't... I'm not pressing a button, it's just going by itself. The wildfire shows the amount of clues available in this world and the ones that you've already found. The door forms as well a number of secret rooms and the ones you've already entered. As you might know, you can use Dragonstones for the same thing, but attention everyone, if you collect them all, you win an award. In this line, you can see the unblocked weapons. To so select, take to the yellow, uh, take one to the yellow square or whatever. This, sele this selection, uh, this section shows the power objects collected, which are activated. Are you ready to complete the tutorial? Listen to the wise man. Yes, I refer to myself in the third person. All right. Read the announcements in front of them and press what? Press what? Read the announcements and press. You're not telling me what a press game. I'm guessing it will be my action button. So, yeah, because like you got pull, uh, you got action, you got jump, and you've also got uh, attack or something. So yeah, it actually tells us wildfire. Tells us how many secrets are in the level. So there's one in this level, I guess. So hmm. I would prefer my jump to be on the A button, but A buttons also confirm for action. So yeah, that kind of stuff I don't exactly like. So action? No. Ah, there we are. Follow the tutorial instructions, there's plenty of time. Okay. Okay, so you just go and tell me that. Let's go onwards. Wait. No? What do I do? 
Read the announcements in front of them and press... What? I'm pressing every button. There's not. There's nothing happening. Oh! Hello! Now something's happened. Use the box to jump. Go near it and carry it pressing... Maybe it's because I've changed the controls. It hasn't been... Cha you know, these probably these things will probably be fixed in the, in the full release. So... Yeah, we can actually pull this. Which is very nice. Okay, I keep pressing B and I'm not actually jumping. I don't know if that's a tribute to how the game's designed. There we are, arrow finder. Choose the arrow, choose it to fire, so I've got my bumpers to go left and right. Fire is the A button, isn't it? Yep. Sorry, I just shot you right for the head. It's like William Tell. Am I supposed to shoot the box? No. Choose the arrow, press shoot to fire. Oh, I am firing it. So what do you want me to do? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Am I supposed to shoot that over there? There we go! I had, a I, I had a feeling. I didn't even notice it until I looked a little harder. Go speak to the wise man in front and press. I don't know because it's not telling me. The key leads you to the next screen. Oh, and then there's an arrow. There we go! And how did you. you you're not Sans. You find clues inside the wells. Press in front of it. Oh, there we are. Oh! Go through the doors, go in front and take this sword in case there are enemies inside. Well, I've got the sword now, so I can actually use that. Sword gatherer. So yeah, now I can use the fire button to swing a sword. That's a really quick sword, actually. Alright, so let's go through the doors. Um. Ah, there we are. Oh, well, I only have, like... Hang on a minute, why did I die in one hit there? I had four hearts! I didn't even get a chance to read that. Why did I just drop dead immediately? Take these weapons and use them to kill the enemies outside the house. They are they are on their way to collect the key. Okay. Oh god. What's that do? Oh, it skips inactive items. Okay, that's gonna throw me off a tad. Okay. So put the dynamic on your enemy's way and run and hide. Oh, it's a mine! If it weren't for my help, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, can I use this then? Hibuski! Oh, it actually arcs like an actual boomerang. Why can't I not hit this guy? Listen to me, follow the tutorial, you, you kill him later. Oh! Put the dynamite on your enemies. Oh, so I do actually need to use the this to kill him. Well, I tried to, and it wouldn't let me. I just missed, so I thought. I did it wrong. What if I run out of them? Yeah, you keep moaning that without your help, but I'm trying to actually do... Oh, I just got three back, okay. There we are. Yeah, I really suck at this. <laughs> but then again, it ain't telling me the buttons because I reassigned them. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it is a lot more comfy. To remove the frog from the floor, take the boomerang. Oh, really? Gotta do this. Okay, why is the boomerang not arcing? The boomerang's not arcing anymore. There we go. Oh, it doesn't arc all the way. Hang on. There we go. I had to jump. It didn't tell me to jump. First key picked up. I'm getting a lot of achievements, at least. Oh, I see! That was the end of the tutorial right there, because look, these are brambles, notice my hearts, that's not how many hits I have, they're actually lives, I thought that was life. So I'm actually losing it, so I literally have one hit. Dragonstone? My god, you're too generous with the achievements. <laughs> I guess they're just chuck away achievements, but because on other devices it wouldn't have that. So I literally can't get hit by anything. Oh, well, shoot. Oh, where do all my weapons go? Hang on! Excuse me! Where do all my weapons go? I just realised I've got nothing! I tried to climb it, didn't grab it. Okay, that's a little bit dumb. I forgot I grabbed the key last time, didn't I? Oh, wait, why is that respawn? Oh, it's because I died. Right. Duh. Wait, why can I not climb? That was weird, I just stopped in mid-climb. I'm going to climb down just in case if there's full damage. Minefinder. 
I'm guessing because this isn't the tutorial, I didn't get that last time. A bit odd, but okay. Oh, okay. I need this. Sometimes there are more game field beyond the sky. There are more game field beyond the... I locked up for some reason there. That's not fair. We'll continue three times. Uh, I'm going to say no because I don't want to use... Uh, I don't want to use continues that bloody early. I swear, my control's locked up, and the problem is, I tried to map the uh, left, right, up, and down to my control pad. It wouldn't let me. I had, to, I have to use the analog stick, so maybe that's what's throwing me off. At least it does have control support, unlike uh, Tiny Hands Adventure at the time. I mean, it has had an update since. And wait, is there no save? Is there no save system? Is it like an actual old game where you have to like? Do it all in one sitting. Again, I just stop moving mid mid jump. Excuse me. What the hell? I'm holding up to grab the thing. Do I even need to hold up? No, I don't. Okay. That wasn't clear. Normally you have to hold up in order to grab it. Like Super Mario Brothers 2. That wasn't very explained. Right. So see over here. There we are. Just land right on that. So I've got mines, but I can't really use them at the moment. So Let's get the wildfire again. There we are. And then I just land right on the enemy. Yep, that's great. At least that stays collected. So, those wildfires are basically hints, but you still need to grab them for collection purposes. Discover the ninth of the ninth sky. Ah, oh, cloud nine, I get it. Wait, can I jump on these? I couldn't move again! I got stuck on a cloud, so I thought I could jump on it, and then when I tried to jump on it, I couldn't move toward it, and I fell. Oh boy, I'm not used to old games that this that, that on old PCs. The, the oldest I've been is probably the Atari. Because <laughs> that's what I actually have. Or maybe Windows 98. WHAT?! Why did I die? There was a platform right below me! I'm not wasting a continue that early on. That's annoying. <laughs> Wow, this is, considering what I've done on the channel, this is, I'm being really pathetic right now. But then again, it's the, the control, I don't know, maybe the controls are purposely like this, so it's so it plays the same on every device, which I could get behind, because, you know, Amstrad, MSX, Commodore. You want the game to obviously be compatible on everything. Of course, the PC version has more colour, more graphics, more sound. Basically more of everything, probably even more frames of animation. Oh yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. I'm sorry that this ain't 60 frames, um, even though the game doesn't look like it's running 60 frames. Um, I tried to record with OBS, but OBS just would not detect the game window, and it's full screen only. So, and there was like no way for me to change that. So, um... Oh my god, this bird. <laughs> but yeah, there was no way for me to actually capture the window, so I'm on XSplit. I do not know how I survived that, but I did. Right, so if I want to go back down, I have to... What the hell is going on? I keep trying to grab the bloody thing, and I keep falling. I mean, I can't... I obviously cannot fall to the next screen, so I thought if I grab this, I can climb down, but I still died. <laughs> there we are. Right, let's blow you up. Because it winded me up. Got him! Nice. Alright, next screen. WHAT KILLED ME?! EXCUSE ME?! Did I walk into one of those drops without realising? That probably might have been it. But it looked like I was about a screen transition and then I just dropped dead! Bloody hell, I feel like I'm playing Inquisitive Dave right now on Flash. Let's kill you. Because you're a douche nozzle. Okay, I did not kill you, but this time, right, nothing there. Yep, yeah, it was one of the, it was the drops. God damn it. Grab the thing, right. Let's not mess up anymore. I'm through with messing up. And he turned around when I was in mid jump. I didn't. Mm. <laughs> I've got one more life again. I can play on wannabe the guy right now. You just die one hit and you'll do the whole bloody segment again until you reach another checkpoint. So basically, what, would you stop turning me? I couldn't move! No, oh, Jesus, please, no! What killed me that time?! Why can't I get through that screen?! 
Use a continue, bugger it. What killed me that time? Was the bird off screen that time? I'm getting annoyed. Oh my god, why are you not grabbing it? <laughs> I shouldn't be getting that, this angry this quick, but it's getting a bit ridiculous at this point. I just can't get past this screen. It's not that hard! <laughs> Literally, I've completed the screen at least three times. I keep dying right at the edge. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> I will say, the music and the graphics are really good. It's the, 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 it's just, it feels janky when I keep trying to, like, move mid-jump, or... I keep getting stuck on something for no reason. Oh, I bonked. I would just take a flying leap and go straight to the next screen, but I'm not allowed to do that. I have to come back down here. But... Can I be any more stupid? <laughs> Can I please get past this screen? I've died over 20 times this screen. This is ridiculous. I'm not cutting any of this out. This is this is ridiculous. Come on. I can't redo it because I've been unlocking cut uh, no, no, go, go, go. Ne Finally! I, I was about to say for a second there, it like kind of like I kinda like froze like halfway across going into the like when I reached the edge of the screen, it kind of like half stopped. They might not always help you. Okay. Oh no. Okay, that was a rickety bridge. Wait, wait, what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? I can't move! No! That's not fair! What was I supposed to do? Bloody bird got rid of the vine! Oh my god, you got to make a mad dash for the vine. And these birds just won't stop swarming me now. I can't actually get up there, I'm stuck. I'm gonna have to die. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. Just go, 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 go. Right, climb, 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 climb. Jump, jump! I can't jump! I can't jump! I couldn't jump! WHY CAN I NOT JUMP?! Oh, you... What was I supposed to do there? Jump. WHAT KILLED ME THEN?! There was nothing on that branch. What killed me that time? Come on now! If I'm climbing the vine and the bird is there... I don't get hit. But if I jump it... Oh, the rain on... You see that raindrop right up there? It hit me off screen. How is that fair? Come on. I finally made the jump and I still get murdered. Right there. Finally got past. And then I immediately jump into the water and drown. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I feel like this is becoming ragey. Maybe it is supposed to be age. I don't know. I'm having fun, don't get me wrong. It's just that... Wait, why did all the water go? Oh, god damn it. I can barely move at the start there. Oh, now he's got rid of the vine. Oh, they regrow... But I didn't grab it. I just stopped right before grabbing it. Why? Oh, I can't... Oh, I can still continue. Okay. Alright, so wait for the vine to regrow. Jump it. That time you grabbed it. Oh, I hit a switch that allows me to go down there. Fair enough. Right, so I need to get down there. And then I need to jump over... Are you kidding me? What? Again, I couldn't move and jump! Why do I just stop moving in the middle of a jump and plummet? It's because I'm using an analog stick, but I wasn't allowed to use the control pad, and I still can't. I feel like the control pad needs to be an option. I know, I know that the old computers back in the day used analog sticks only or joysticks, but if you have the option to use controllers and remap the controls, I feel like you should be allowed to, you know, use the D-pad. <laughs> just saying. Because I'm, I, I, I've died way too many times just stopping mid-jump or bonking because I can't move. And then I die immediately on the next screen transition because you stick water immediately at the start. That's not fair. Like I said, it's a really good looking game, the music is awesome, and it's obviously trying to harken back to the good old days where, you know, games were... Are you kidding me? It looked purposely arced. But yeah, it, it's trying to harken back to the good old days where games were unfairly difficult. Um, I mean, decent challenge, they're fun enough, they're small little platform challenges, every screen, and I did not actually press the jump button there, why did he leap? I would have actually been fine then if I didn't fly off. 
I swear I didn't press the jump button. Maybe because I hit the screen transition mid-jump so it continued my jump? Oh, I don't know. But there's no save point, so you literally just got to go for the whole game in one sitting. I guess if you guys want me to give it another go, I will. So let me know. Uh, comment, like, you know, do all that stuff to let me know if I should continue playing this game. Hashtag free game. To be honest, I'm really liking this more than Tiny Hands Adventure, mainly because I can actually use a controller. Like I said with Tiny Hands Adventure, when it does actually release and I go back to it, if there is controller support, then obviously that would be best because trying to do diagonal movement that's not even proper, like, on a proper 45 degree angle is very difficult while using arrow keys on the keypad, on the keyboard, because I don't play, like, free, uh, 3D games with um, a keyboard. I prefer using a controller because then you have analog movement. So, with that, guys, um, yeah, just let me know. If you want me to uh, continue playing this game, and we will. It's pretty much a roguelike. I wasn't aware it was a roguelike, but considering that it's on older PCs as well, physically, yeah, that's a thing. So let me know, and I'll see you guys next time for whatever we do next. Hashtag free game or otherwise. See you guys then.